Hello everybody. I'm going to teach you how to make a puzzle out of your own artwork. You could make a drawing like this, or maybe you're thinking to yourself, oh, I want to use that coloring book page that I did, or a collage that I made from magazines. Whatever it is, make sure it's got a lot to it. This one didn't have much coloring on it, and some of the pieces are blank. So I'll show you how to go about making a drawing that would make a good puzzle because you want to fill up the whole paper. It's spring, so I'm thinking, hmm, I think I'll do a flower, add some details to it. Maybe a butterfly up here. Makes me think about bees. They're all coming in to get the pollen. There's my horizon line. And I think I'm going to do an elephant in that big blank space that was on the left. And she's going to be leaning forward and sniffing the flower. Look at this tongue. I erased the lines that were under the tongue so that it looks kind of cool. I still have some blank spots. Do with some sun, clouds, and a few more flowers. Now I've filled up the page. Got to think about my background. If it's going to be blue, everything else should probably be a different color. Here goes my grass. I've used two different kinds of green to make my grass interesting. Check out if I press my crayon hard to make dark lines and then I use the same crayon softly, I can get two values out of one color. And I'll keep going. I've got a bright yellow flower. I think I'll stick with, war oh, did you see that? An ant crawled across my drawing. I think I'll stick with warm colors on my butterfly and my bee. Use some dark outlining to make my bugs stand out. My sun's gonna be warm. Now I didn't have any gray, so I took a black crayon and I'm pressing really lightly and I'm going to kind of make a gray out of that light crayon. Do some pink ears. Red tongue. Now I'm working on my background. We've talked about this in class. You just take lots of tiny little strokes like a dog, little dog wagging its tail. Just fill in one area at a time so you don't get overwhelmed. I like making lots of clouds. So I could cut it apart like this, or curvy like this, or I could even cut it apart just straight. So here I go. I've got my scissors. I've got my drawing all finished, and it's time to make the cut. Because this is my first one, I think I'm going to make mostly straight cuts. I can be tricky. I can add a few curved cuts if I want to. Look at this. I just cut my sun right in half. Ah! And I'm going to cut the tips of the wings off my butterfly. Oh my goodness. Just going to keep cutting apart. Just don't want my pieces to be too small because then it's not fun. So I can put it back together myself. I can give it to someone in my family to put back together. If I'm going to be a tricky puzzle illustrator, I'm going to make several things that look the same, like my sun and my flowers. All were yellow and they all were round. And there it is, all back together again. To make sure I don't lose any pieces, I got an envelope out of my recycling bin. I'm going to write elephant puzzle on it. I'm going to be very careful and pick up all of my pieces and get them right in that envelope before I get distracted and something happens to them. I'll fold up the lid so none of them fall out. And there it is. You've made a puzzle. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of puzzles you make. I know you're going to be great at it.